welcome back this set of asset distribution came in cat 17 i hope that you people have attempted this question if not stop the video the link of the question is there in the description section also we have our lrdi course and in fact the complete cat course for 2019 you can check the complete course details of ours on our website again the link is there in the description section now let's start solving this set an old woman had the following assets that is the first asset that she has is 70 lakh in bank deposit the second asset that she has is one house worth 50 lakhs third asset that she has that three flats each of worth 90 30 lakhs and fourth asset is certain number of gold coins we are not it is not specified that how many number of gold coins are there but each gold coin worth is one lakh rupees that's all the question is very simple now let's see uh, what further we have she wanted to distribute her assets among three children Nita, Sita and Gita the house or any of the flats or any of the coins were not to be split so okay we cannot divide a horse into two parts or three parts similarly we cannot break the coin and not the flat okay so they have to give an incomplete totality that is the house went entirely to one child yes exactly what i said a flat a flat went to exactly one child and similarly a gold coin went to one child so we are not further splitting up a flat a house or a gold coin now let's see the question now the whole question stem is very simple very short to understand now let's see what questions we have the first question is among the three that is Nita received the least amount in the bank deposit so what, what the condition we have that Nita received the least amount in the bank deposit while Gita received the highest the value of assets were distributed equally so whatever the value of the asset was it was distributed equally among the children as were the gold coin also the gold coins were distributed equally among the children total asset was equally distributed also the gold coins were equally distributed amount received in bank deposit of sita so we need to find the amount received in as bank deposit okay in bank deposit of sita so let's try to make a table in which we have the persons that is nita sita and gita along one column and the assets that has to be distributed along one row so we'll have a very simple table and we can solve this question according to the conditions given so let me draw that so we'll have a table like this so the total asset for bank deposit is 70 lakhs and one house only one house is there is worth is 50 lakhs we have three flats and each flat worth is 30 so total worth of flat is 90 lakhs now we do not know the total number of gold coins that is said that certain number of gold coins are there now let's see uh, so total uh, assets that we have is 70 50 plus 90 plus the total number of gold coins that would be having now according to the condition that the value of assets were equally distributed among the children as were the gold coins so each of the children will get equal number of gold coins so let's suppose uh, this is x she gets x that is nita gets x number of gold coins similarly sita will get x and gita will get x the so, total number of gold coins would be 3x now as gold coins are equally distributed and total assets are equally distributed so whatever the remaining de asset that we have in terms of bank deposit house and flats they will also be or the value of these assets combined would be equally distributed so what is the total value of the assets that we have for bank deposit this 70 for a house that is 50 and for flat it is total assets value is 90 so this makes it to 210 lakhs so as gold coins are equally distributed total assets are equally distributed so the remaining asset would also be equally distributed or in fact the value of the remaining asset would be equally distributed so each of them would get 70 lakhs asset value from bank deposit from house and from flat now we have some further condition that 
Nita received the least amount in bank deposit while Geeta received the highest amount in bank deposit or the same thing. The value of the asset were equally distributed as were the gold coins. Amount received in bank deposit by Sita. So we need to find this. Now let's come back to our conditions that Nita received the least amount in bank deposit. Now we have seen that from these three assets, bank deposits, house and flat, each of Nita, Sita and Geeta would get a total amount of or the worth amount of 70 lakhs that we have seen. Now, in order to have the least amount in bank deposit, how can Nita get 70 lakhs? Okay. Now we can see that with a possible combination that Nita takes two flat each of her 30 lakhs. This would make her total asset of 60 lakhs and 10 lakhs of bank deposit. This is the only possibility. Now if, ta if Nita take, would have taken house, then she would have taken 20 lakhs from the bank deposit. So again, uh, we have a possibility in which she takes 10 lakhs. So we'll try to give this condition that two flats, she takes two flat each over 30 lakhs that makes six to 60 lakhs and 10 lakhs from the bank deposit. And of course, she will not have any house. Now, further condition is that Gita received the highest amount. Gita received the highest amount. Again, for the Gita, she has to have a total asset of 70 lakhs from these three assets. Now, she has to make a total asset of 70 lakhs and 10 lakhs of bank deposit has already been taken. Now, what is the total remaining bank deposit? 60 lakhs. But if she takes 60 lakhs completely, she cannot take or she cannot make 70 lakhs by any other combinations. Okay. What if she takes 50 lakhs? If Gita takes 50 lakhs, even if Gita takes 50 lakhs as bank deposit, she cannot make her total asset as 70 lakhs by the given combination, neither by taking house nor by taking flat. So the only possibility for Gita is to have 40 lakhs. Now, if she has 40 lakhs or if she takes 40 lakhs as bank deposit, okay, and she can make a possible combination of 70 lakhs by taking one flat, which is worth 30 lakhs. So this would make it to this. And of course, she will not take any house. House will go ultimately to Sita. That is a house of worth 50 lakhs. Okay. And 20 lakhs as bank deposit would do the job. And no need of flat as all the flats have already been taken. So this is the only possibility. So answer to this question is D, 40. Now, on the similar question, we have another question that how many flats did Nita receive? Nita is receiving two flats. So that is fixed. Okay. Now, further, we have two questions, question number three and question number four. We have to take the common value or the common instruction for them. It is not over there. So I made a mistake. In fact, the common instruction up to this point for these two questions are same. So these two questions are completely interrelated. So we'll try to see what can be the condition or how it will work. So I'll have to erase this and let's do that. Now, the instruction is the value of the assets distributed among Nita, Sita and Gita was in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. So, okay. So, if let's suppose Nita is receiving K, Sita will receive 2K. Total asset value of Sita would be 2K. Similarly, total asset value of Gita would be 3K. Okay. That is for sure. Total asset value. Also, while the gold coins were distributed in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 4. So, gold coins are distributed in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 4. So, let's say that she gets, Nita gets 2x, this will get 3x and she will get 4x. Okay. Now, uh, what further we have? One child got all the three flats. So, this is a condition that one child got all the three flats and she did not get the house. Okay, one child other than Gita got 30 lakhs in bank deposit. So let me put the condition that we have. One child will get how much? The condition is that all the three flats, all three flats. Now, what other condition we have that and she did not get house. Also, she did not get house. Fine. So always try to put whatever the condition is there on your paper because 
the question would always be there on your screen so you need to put it down in a paper and solve in an organized manner now another one child got one child other than geeta got 30 lakhs so one child will get 30 lakhs okay and she'll not be geeta and she will not be geeta so this is the condition that we have and she'll not be geeta one child will get 30 lakhs and she'll not be geeta this is the condition okay now let's come back total gold coins for how much 2x plus 3x plus 4x okay so total gold coins is now 9x now we have seen that from the previous question or the instruction the assets from bank deposit was 70 house say 50 and flat say we have 3 into 30 that is total 90 lakhs so the total value of the asset was how much 210 plus 9x now this is the total value of the asset and this has to be distributed in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3 so let's find how much Nita will get Nita will get so let's distribute 5 3 plus 2 is 5 and this is 6 so the value of K would be this and this is how much this is 35 and this is 3 by 2 x that's all we have what is the value of 2k then the value of 2k would be 70 plus 3x and value of 3k would be 105 plus 9 by 2 x fine now we have seen that every the sita which value is or whose proportion is 2k she is getting 70 plus 3x 3x she already has from the gold coin so from the remaining asset she will get 70 lakh so that is from bank deposit house and flat now let's look into the condition the first condition is one child got all the three flat now all the three flat means that one child will have a value of 90 so we have a block in fact we have a block of 50 lakhs it would be one block block of a house now as all the child is getting or one child is getting all the three flats so there is also a block of 90 lakhs okay and whatever we can distribute is from the cash deposit fine <laughs> now if i can i cannot put 90 over here because it will be 90 plus 3x i have to reach 70 plus 3x so definitely she is not getting any flat now if i put <coughs> then can be a case that uh, she gets 50 lakhs and 20 lakhs as bank deposit so that is a possibility okay so yes this is a possibility that she gets a flat and 20 lakh as bank deposit so that will make the job now that is the only possibility why because if she does not get a house she'll have to take all the amount from the bank deposit now one child takes 30 lakhs it means that bank deposit is being distributed so she has to take a house so she is taking a house that is worth 50 lakhs in order to get 70 she'll have to take 20 lakhs as bank deposit 20 lakhs as bank deposit so this is making 70 plus 3x for 2k that is completely fine now what conditions we had that one child will get all the three flat and she will definitely not get the house that was satisfied by she is getting the house and not getting the flat so Sita and one child gets 30 lakhs and she is not Gita. so who will get 30 lakhs 30 lakhs Nita will get 30 lakhs okay the only possibility because Gita is not getting 30 lakhs house is already given to Sita so Nita will not get the house now flat talking about the flat all the three flats were given to one child now if i give all the three flats to nita we can see that the ratio of the assets value to nita and Gita is one is to three and if i give all the possible value or all the flat value to nita over here then nita will ne neither get a house because nita has no possibility to get the house she will not get the flat the remaining amount would be 40 40 plus 4x will not definitely not make the amount or the total amount for her as thrice the amount 
Now, even if we give this, even if we give this, let's suppose we give the value of all the flats over here. Okay. So that is 90 lakhs. You can do a hit and trial. Very small. We do not have much hit and trials of the cases. So this is total assets value over here is now 30 plus 120 plus 2x. So what is the total asset for Nita? That is 120 lakhs plus 2x. And that has to be equals to 35 plus 3 by 2x. Okay. So you can see that we are getting a very negative value of x. So again, that is not possible. Fine. So we cannot get a negative value for the asset. So definitely this is not possible. Even if you just go by a normal guess that we have to distribute Nita to Gita, the ratio is 3. This is a very big amount. So this will definitely not come at this place. So let me, this would not be taken by Nita. Fine. Now if this is not taken by Nita, then the 30 lakhs amount or sorry, the 3 flat amount would be given to Gita. So that is 3 into 30. So that is making to 90 lakhs. Now the remaining bank deposit over here is what? How much is the remaining bank deposit? The bank deposit remaining is again 20 lakhs. Of course, you will not get the house. Now you can find the value of x exactly. This is 30 lakhs plus 2x and that equals to 35 plus 2x. So 30 plus 2x equals to 35 plus so 35 plus 3 by 2x. So over here we can get value of x, x is 5 into 2 that is 10. So the value of x is positive that is 10. Now even if you check at this point, 20 plus 90, 110 plus 4x, that equals to 105 plus 9 by 2x. From this, you will again get x equals to 10. So we have many check and balance points that we can always cross check our solution that even that we have properly distributed according to the conditions or not. So fine. Now let's see the question. How many gold coins did old woman have? So old woman or how many gold coins did old woman have? Fine. So total value of the asset because value of the X we got as 10. So total gold or the total value of gold coins is 90 lakhs and each gold coin value is 1 lakh so total gold coin that she would be having would be 90 lakhs now question number 4 follows with the common information of question number 3 how much did Gita get in bank deposit so Gita is getting 20 lakhs in bank deposit so a very easy question and not an easy question but uh, not a difficult question though hope you have understood it thank you